is so dry. There's like hardly any green. I, I don't I don't know what the horses are eating out here. The deepening drought in Utah threatens to have devastating consequences for wild mustangs living in the deserts west of Salt Lake City. Government wranglers have a controversial plan to round up and capture many of the iconic horses. But a dramatic experiment is also underway to help limit the size of the herd. New specialist John Hollenhorst has the story. This may be the most photographed herd of horses in Utah, if not in the country. And why not? They're a beautiful animal. They're fun. For many horse lovers, they're the very image of the American West, a bit of living history running free on public land. Well, I think they're an important heritage item in the West, and they've, they're part of the ecosystem, and so we need to protect them, but we also need to manage them. Wild horse managers at the BLM say this herd, the Anaki herd, is so easily reached by tourists on backcountry roads, the wild bunch has become tame, almost born to pose for spectacular pictures. So why then are these horse lovers loading up guns and hunting them down? This loads into the back. Because I love the horses, because I, I do love helping out. Um, there's a there's a huge need. These rifles don't use gunpowder and bullets. They use CO2 to fire a dart that packs a chemical punch. When a volunteer fires one into the rump of a wild mare, the idea is to make them not have babies. The darts deliver a shot of PZP, which makes a mare sterile temporarily. One booster shot each year keeps her that way. It, it helps the horses by not having the stress of pulling out every year. It makes them healthier. And it does reduce the population. Right now, drought is making life tough on ranchers' livestock and on wild horses competing for the same grass. And I've never seen that the range look like this in all my years being out here. It is so dry. There's like hardly any green. I, I, don't, I don't know what the horses are eating out here. Darting is one strategy to tame a population explosion that began a half century ago. Congress banned the slaughter of Mustangs, mainly for dog food, and gave them the protection of federal law. In 10 western states, about 95,000 horses and burros run free on public land. The BLM periodically gathers them and tries to adopt them out or sell them, but that typically provides homes for fewer than 3,000 horses a year. The vast majority of gathered horses, 54,000 is the current estimate, are cooped up in corrals and pastures languishing at taxpayer expense. Last year, the BLM spent $91 million managing wild horses and burros, 57 million of that just to care for the captured ones, close to $50,000 per horse over its lifetime. We can dart a mare for about $700 over her lifetime. Last year, 735 mares were sterilized throughout the West, presumably resulting in hundreds of fewer babies. I think it's a part of the solution. 126 were darted in the Anaki herd. There's definitely less holes at the same time this year than there were a year ago. In spite of the apparent success of the fertility control program, the BLM still plans a roundup, technically called a gather, in July, and that has a lot of people upset. The BLM typically uses helicopters to stir up the horses and get them on the run. The chopper pushes the Mustangs against fence lines that squeeze them into a trap and then into corrals. And so it's inhumane. The families are separated. Uh, the moms are crying for the babies, the babies are crying for the moms, the stallions are crying for their family. It's just, it's just, it, it's an old tool and it needs to go away. The BLM plans to round up 400 Anaki horses. After they're checked for health and more are sterilized, the healthiest 100 or so will be returned to the range. Some say it's far better for the horses than what the drought will do to them. And, and if, if they don't gather, we're going to start seeing horses all over the place out here dead. But critics claim the Anaki horses look healthy now. If there's a shortage of grasses to eat, they ask, whose interests is the BLM serving by reducing horses but leaving large numbers of private livestock on public land? It always stumps me how they can clear the land of the wild horses and then we'll see sheep or cattle out. Uh, it's the, the livestock interests, mainly. We can have multiple use out here and that 
um, with appropriate levels, it can sustain the animals. Even if cows are reduced, the BLM says, there would still be too many Mustangs. Looking at these horses body condition wise, compared to Anaki horses a year ago, they have declined. The gatherings are probably necessary until they get the herds under control, but I think for the herd health itself, they have to do something. And as much as we love the horses, we love to, to have them managed well as also. It's an argument as old as the protection law itself and as new as the latest science on climate change. Is it more humane to control the population of horses and livestock for the amount of grass nature provides or to let long-term mega drought take its own inhumane toll? John Holland Horse, KSL 5 News, Tooele County. John, thank you. The volunteer darting effort seems especially well suited to the Anaki herd because, as John mentioned, they allow people to sneak up on them and take a pot shot. But horse protection groups say it's been successfully used on other herds.